In this video we're going to show how to perform a yield test. Yield tests show that a concrete batch matches up to the mixed designer's and the customer's expectations. The yield is just the ratio of the actual volume to the predicted volume. As the equipment used for the yield test can also be used in the air test, many lab technicians double up by performing the yield test and then carry straight on to perform the air content test on the same sample. In this video we will assume you're using the 7 litre pot from a type B air meter which is acceptable for aggregate sizes 13.2 through to 26.5 millimetres. You will need the following equipment. A yield pot. If you are using a different pot please refer to the guidelines in the standard or the CCANS information bulletin number 52 that state aggregate size minimum volumes and dimensions. A soft nosed hammer, some gloves, a scoop and a trowel. A tamping rod to the dimensions shown with a round hemispherical tip, a clipboard to record the result, some weigh scales and both a damp and dry cloth. Moisten the lid and pot with the damp cloth. While the yield test doesn't require the cover to be weighed, you should record the weight of the empty pot and its cover at this point if you're planning to do both yield and air tests on the same sample. The pot is filled in thirds, with each third rotted at least 25 times. Take care to not strike the bottom of the pot when rotting the first layer, and for the second and third layers the tamping rod should just penetrate the previous layer. If vibration is to be used instead of rotting, take care to avoid excessive effort which might promote segregation effects. After each tamping session, tap the sides of the bowl to close up any holes left by the tamping rod and to cause any remaining entrapped air to rise to the surface. Regardless of the chosen compaction method, consolidation of the third layer should leave the measuring bowl overfilled prior to screeding. After screeding with a trowel, we are looking for a final top surface which is level with the rim of the measuring bowl. Remove all excess material and ensure that the bowl rim is clean enough to receive its cover such that an effective seal between the two will be possible. Give the cover a final wipe with a dry cloth to ensure a good seal. Before clamping the cover on the bowl, ensure the water inlet and water bleed valves in the cover are open. Close the air chamber connection valve and the air bleed valve. Secure the cover in place by clipping opposite pairs of connectors. Record the weight of the charged test meter. The ratio of the actual volume to the predicted volume is known as the yield. This parameter may also be expressed as the ratio of the predicted density to the actual density, which is easier to measure given an accurately known pot volume. The calculation is shown on the screen and described further in the CCANS information bulletin number 52. Detailed written instructions for performing the yield test can be found on the CCANS information bulletin available on our website. And CCANS would like to thank the crew of Firth Whangarei for their time and the use of their facilities.